Hey everybody, it's the team from Financial Market Wizards and today we are back with another video. Now we started this channel to help you become a profitable trader. Okay, now we understand that you know not everyone has the money to invest in causes uh, just like we did. And that's why uh, we put out content such as this so that uh, you, know, you can learn for free and you know, leverage on uh, our experience as well as the causes uh, that we've been through. Now, in today's video, I'm going to talk about uh, candlestick patterns, okay? Because uh, we see that a lot of uh, new beginner traders use it wrongly, okay? They uh, do not apply it correctly. And we kind of feel that uh, it's our job to educate you about it, to make sure that you do not make the mistakes that we do, okay? Uh, to really help you to move from a struggling trader to a profitable trader, okay? So the question for today would be, uh, are you using candlestick patterns correctly? Okay, so this is what I'm going to be covering in this uh, video. Okay, so I'm going to talk about three misconceptions about candlestick patterns that a lot of new struggling traders are, you know, they, they do not use it correctly. Okay, so the first one would be, uh, they see candlestick patterns as a leading indicator. Okay, uh, I will go into details later. I will go into uh, each of these uh, misconceptions and tell you uh, the right way to use the candlestick patterns instead. Okay, the second one would be trading off candlestick patterns, right? They think that uh, just, you know, just trading off candlestick patterns without consider considering the price action context is enough, right? They just look for all sorts of patterns and they try to trade, okay? And the third one is candlestick pattern equals price action trading, okay? It's not the same, okay? It's a very common misconception that a lot of new traders have, okay? So if you are making any of these three, um, so-called mistakes or you have a misconception about these three uh, you know things about candlestick patterns then you want to make sure to watch this video till the end okay so before i go into each of these misconception okay our team has put together a free day trading guide for you the link is in the description so uh, if you have not downloaded that uh, make sure you download it because it covers more uh, in depth about candlestick patterns and how to use it okay uh, i cannot go into all the details in this uh, short video but uh that pdf will help you a lot okay so without further ado let's go into point one okay misconception number one which is candlestick pattern is a leading indicator now the truth is candlestick pattern is not a leading indicator okay it is a lagging indicator okay think of it this way okay uh Candlestick pattern is essentially technical analysis, right? You're looking at past price movement, okay? So I did a simple Google search about what is technical analysis and uh, this was the statement, uh, you know, definition given by Google, right? Technical analysis is a means of examining and predicting price movements in the financial market by using historical price charts and market statistics, okay? You notice the emphasis on the word historical. Okay, so basically you're using past price data to predict uh, future movements, right? So if you're using past price data, then technically you're already using a lagging indicator, right? Because it's historical, means the move has already happened, okay? So it's not a crystal ball into the future about what the market will do in the future, right? You're just looking at what price has did in the past and making the assumption that, okay, if at the in the past, you know, price bounced off this level, then there is a probability that price will bounce off the uh, level again uh, if price were to retest the level, okay? So I have a chart here for you, okay? So this chart over here is the euro dollar chart, okay? So I've uh, boxed up this uh, area over here. So actually what happened is that there was a support and, you know, it, it was broken with a uh, bearish engulfing pattern, okay? Here's the thing, right? By the time you spot this bearish engulfing pattern, it has already happened, okay? So the move has already happened. So what you are seeing is the end result of a move that has already happened. So you are looking at it, you know, after it has happened, it's kind of historical already. It's what happened in the past, okay? You're not using it to kind of uh, predict that, okay, uh, it's going to happen because candlestick patterns only form after the fact. Okay, so you need to understand that uh, it's not a crystal ball to the future. 
okay, it just tells you what has already happened. Doesn't, it doesn't mean that you can't use them, okay, but you need to stop seeing a candlestick pattern as kind of like the holy grail in a trading that, you know, I just look for a bearish engulfing pattern at, you know, every single bearish engulfing pattern I'll trade, okay? Uh, that's not the way to do it. If you do that, uh, you will blow your account, okay? Uh, when I first started, I think that was also a mistake that I did. You know, I, I learned from some guru and, you know, we say, oh, just, just trade the engulfing pattern. The engulfing pattern is very powerful, okay? And I went around just trading engulfing patterns and I lost money, okay? So if you've been trading for some time and you do that too, then you probably uh, would have the same experience as, you know, I did. Okay, you probably have the same experience as most people do. Okay, you lose a lot of money because uh, you're just looking at the candlestick patterns without identifying the uh, price action context. Okay, so this is the misconception number one. Okay, uh, do not see candlestick pattern as a leading indicator. Okay, it is a lagging indicator. Okay, misconception number two, trading off candlestick pattern is sufficient. Right, uh, this writes on to the first one, which is a candlestick pattern is a leading indicator. So a lot of new traders, uh, because you know, they, they've been taught by other people, they've been taught by trading books, or you know, like those kind of websites like Baby Pips, that uh, just use uh, candlestick patterns. So they go around uh, just applying candlestick patterns and trading off them, okay? Here's the truth, okay? Trading off candlestick patterns is not enough, okay? It's part of the equation, but it is not the equation. Okay? This is a, a mistake that a lot of new traders make and it's a huge one. Okay? So if you need to rewatch this video to get this point, make sure you get it. Okay? Trading off candlestick pattern is just part of the equation. Okay? I'm going to repeat one more time. Okay? Trading off candlestick pattern is part of the equation. It's not the equation. Okay, you do not want to just trade off candlestick patterns. You want to incorporate candlestick patterns into your analysis, but it should not be your entire analysis. Okay, so I have two charts over here. Okay, uh, look at the left chart. It's a, a typical chart of uh, any currency pair where you have the holistic view of it. And on the right, you have the same chart, but it's just a snapshot of, you know, a couple of candles. Okay, in fact, over here, you can see that uh, there is so, sort of almost like a um, bullish engulfing pattern. So my question to you is this, okay? Do you really think you can predict the entire market of a couple of candles? Do you think it's realistic? Let you think about that. Probably not, right? I mean, think about it. The market is so big, there's so many participants and there's all these data points for you to use, right? Think about it this way. You have this whole entire chart to be, to focus on to, you know, make a good decision. Why are you making a decision based off just a couple of candles? It, it, it doesn't make sense. It's kind of like, um, let's say you want to buy a house and uh, the only factor of consi consideration you have is prob maybe the, just the door. You just see the house of the door and you say, oh, the house of the door is nice. So I think this is a good house, right? It's not a complete analysis, right? So same thing, uh, when it comes to charts, you want to look at it holistically. You want to look at the entire chart and you want to size up the entire, uh, entire chart. Uh, what is the currency doing? What's the context? What are the key levels, okay? It's just like when you see a house, uh, you, you don't just want to consider the door. You want to look at the price, you look at location, you know, is the mortgage affordable? You know, you want to consider it from uh, multiple angles. So the same thing, it goes for trading, okay? You don't just want to look at a couple of candles and try to predict the direction uh, of the market, okay? You are severely handicapping yourself, okay? Because professional traders, they look at the entire charts, okay? Uh, they're not looking at a single candle or, you know, a couple of candles just to make their decision, okay? So don't handicap yourself. Don't make your decision off just a couple of candles, okay? It's not wise. Now, misconception number three, okay? Also very, very common, okay? I see a lot of uh, people make this. In fact, we get a lot of emails about this and that's why I feel so, you know, are passionate about sharing about this topic because price action trading does not mean candlestick pattern, okay? Ho ho hopefully you can feel my passion for this topic, right? That you don't just want to look at every single candlestick pattern and trade 
trade off and call yourself a price action trader. Okay, we see a lot of people, so-called wannabe traders, who say, oh, I'm a price action trader. And when you ask them how they actually trade, all they say is that, oh, I just look for bullish engulfing patterns. Okay, it's not that simple. Okay, if trading was so simple, everyone would be making money and uh, chances are you wouldn't be watching this video. Okay, if you're watching this video, especially if you are making it to, you know, this part of the video, chances are you know that, uh, what I'm saying is true, that price action trading involves more than candlestick patterns, okay? Chances are you also lost money just trading off candlestick patterns, okay? So earlier on, I already mentioned this point that candlestick patterns are part of price action trading, uh, okay? It involves uh, more, sorry, price action trading involves more than candlestick patterns, okay? So uh, some other factors that you want to consider would be the price action context, key levels, and candlestick patterns okay again each of these are covered in the free day trading guide that i have for you the links in the description okay in the free day trading guide we teach you how to uh, trade using the mpe strategy so m stands for a uh, market condition p is price level and uh, e stands for trigger which is actually the candlestick pattern okay you need to put everything together you don't just want to uh, look for the e which is the candlestick patterns okay so hopefully that clears things up so over here, I have a chart for you. Uh, I'd like you to pause, right? If you need to pause this video, uh, think about this, okay? Why is this a good trade, okay? If you need to pause, go ahead, okay? But uh, basically, I'll explain to you why I think this is a very good trade, okay? So if you're a price action trader uh, like myself, okay? Then uh, you're going to analyze it holistically. So we start with uh, the basics, which is what is the trend? Okay, so the trend is down. Okay, over here you can see that I've marked up, uh, mark out the this is high, this is low, lower high, lower low. So we are in a downtrend. Okay, that's pretty straightforward. It's very clear. Okay, so what did price do? Okay, so the price action context is that uh, price is trending down and price broke an important level. Okay, the key level being a one two one point three three. Okay, in this horizontal line over here. Okay, it broke it. And what happens after that? It retraces towards it. Okay. More importantly, when you retrace towards it, you have a very nice uh, bearish engulfing pattern over here. You can see highlighted it here. Okay. So that's how you put things together. Okay. You, you don't just use the candlestick patterns and you know start trading. Um, you know every single candlestick pattern. Okay. In fact, in this short analysis that I did for you, okay, candlestick pattern is the last step of the equation. It's not the first step. Okay, I've seen a lot of uh, new traders, you know, they make the mistake of uh, just basing their entire analysis on the candlestick pattern, right? Meaning that they only have one step in their trading uh, system or trading strategy. Step number one and the last step is candlestick pattern. That's it. <laughs> they do not have, you know, like trend, uh, key levels, then um, the candlestick pattern, okay? So just remember that candlestick pattern should be the last step of the equation, not the first step of the equation. Okay, so I've come to the end of this video. Let me just do a recap for you. And then uh, I want you to start implementing all this, okay? Because there's really no point in watching uh, the videos if uh, you don't, you know, you don't change the way you see the market. You don't uh, make certain changes to your trading, okay? So number one, uh, I talk about how candlestick pattern is not a linear indicator, okay? This is a misconception that a lot of people have, okay? Candlestick pattern is a lagging indicator. Okay, number two, okay, a lot of uh, new traders, they have the misconception that uh, they can just trade off candlestick patterns, right? Just find a candlestick pattern, a bullish and engulfing or bearish and engulfing, and that's sufficient, okay? I share with you why that's not true and how you need to consider more than the candlestick pattern, okay? And the last misconception that uh, I covered is that candlestick pattern equals price action trading, which is not true, okay? Price action trading is a holistic strategy, okay? Candlestick pattern is just a part of price action trading is not the only part, okay? You need to combine it with a uh, price level as well as the market outlook or market condition in order to apply it effectively, okay? So thanks for watching, right? If you've gotten value from this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button, okay? We create videos like this to help you. Okay, if you have any questions, just leave a comment down in the comment section. We'll do our best to address it, okay? If not, uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.